University Officer and Global Director, Director of Education, Ms. Rosalind Hudnell. <laughs> Delighted to be here tonight. Coming to a National Urban Link Convention is actually like coming home for me. And tonight I am inspired by the theme Jobs Rebuild America and reminded that never before has the mission of this organization been more relevant. When I was the Vice President of Programs for the Greater Sacramento Urban League, shout out to Sacramento. Hey, hey, right here. Job training center focused on training residents for future careers was critical to meet their needs and those of the employers in our region. Now as I serve as the Chief Talent Strategist for one of their employers, Intel, I see firsthand how the National Urban League, it's important so important to continue its thought leadership under the phenomenal Mr. Mark Morio, but also the action that happens on the ground in the over 98 affiliates in this country. I am proud to work for a company that continues to help lead the charge in providing jobs in America. Intel as a company mirrors our country in that it was built on innovation. For the past several years, we've been discussing the need to reignite innovation in the United States as a means of creating jobs and wealth in our society. The world of technology and manufacturing lies at the heart of creating the best future for all Americans. Intel is a global company with sales and operations in 50 countries. And although 75% of our revenues are generated overseas, I am proud to say that 75% of our products are still made here in the United States. But this now makes us one of perhaps the largest manufacturers here, and with it comes a huge responsibility for leadership. I am so proud to work for a company that believes in this country's power to create a future where America maintains a global leadership position and where jobs in the 21st century are created and flourish. Our president and CEO, Paul Ottolini, announced earlier this year on stage with President Obama our commitment to hire 4,000 new permanent highly skilled employees in the United States this year and to build two new factories totaling over a $10 billion investment in this country. future requires more than just investments in technology and manufacturing. We must invest in education and methods to finally close the gaps we continue to see in science, math, engineering technology for women, African Americans, Hispanics, Latinos, and our Native Americans. Our country cannot succeed until all of our people are fully participating in the world. priority in our financial investments and program support. Through programs like Intel Teach and the Intel Computer Clubhouse that was done in partnership with the Museum of Science right here in Boston, we have remained committed through each economic cycle over the past decade to an investment in the future of our children. Our nearly $1 billion is one that has seen over 9 million teachers trained and over 5,000 women and minority scholars educated through college degree attainment. But we know that just as the National Urban League cannot rest, we must do more as well. Through our commitment to the President's Council on Jobs and Competitive, Paul Adelini's leadership on the high technology education team, we are working to identify effective methods, methods and collaborations to cl close the gaps. I applaud the National Urban League and its dedication, and I am so honored to be here. Thank you to the many sponsors and advocates that are also present this evening. We look forward to the dialogue this week and ideas for how we can collaborate and lead together. It is so good to be home, my friends. But you know that when you come home, as much as you are reminded of how comfortable it is, you are also reminded of the work that needs to be done. On behalf of Intel, I want to thank you for being here. Welcome to the National Urban League Conference. Now, family, let's get to work. All right.